Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Can we have enough of wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay adapters? You tell me, no, we can't have enough. That's the right answer. Because competition is good. The more products on the market, the better for consumer and for the companies, because it makes them work harder for your money and earn their well-deserved place on the market, if they're working well enough. So today we are lucky enough to be spon sponsored by the company called Benize. Benize have been uh, in contact with us in the past, and we have reviewed a slightly more basic adapter from them in the past, which was sort of mid-range kind of wireless adapter. You can take a look at that video on my channel. It's a little bit outdated, so please don't cringe as you watch it. So today we are looking at AI Box. In case you're very new to that, I'm not going to waste too much of your time, don't worry. Uh, AI Boxes, they're smarter than normal wireless CarPlay adapters, cheap ones. Cheap ones simply provide wireless connectivity to your system, that's it. They simply enable wireless connectivity where wired connectivity already exists. These things, they still rely on some smarts of your infotainment screen, so it will not work on LCD panel. It still needs to be, you know, a proper modern-ish car with a color display, etc., etc. But it comes with Android 13, it has a TFT card slot, it has wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity. It has pre-installed apps. Basically, it's a little computer. It's a little Android-powered computer on a processor with um, kind of stated uh, Wi-Fi, the 5, 5G Wi-Fi is being supported. I think that for the right price, this is yet another solid, very good AI box. And before you try to point it out to me, especially if you are one of my subscribers who have been following reviews of different adapters from me, you will say, Dimitri, this UI, user interface of this of this um, adapter when it comes on the screen, it reminds us very much of one other adapter that you've re reviewed recently. And it does, and it does, which tells you and I that the user interface, the operating system, the software that's installed in this thing and that shows up on your screen, once connected, is not bespoke. It's not unique to Benize. They are obviously a hardware manufacturer and a retailer, but at the same time, the software they're using must be something there in the public domain, as Android is an open source platform, so different companies can use it. So that other box, AI box, that I've reviewed not very long time ago, I'm not cross-promoting it here, I'm just addressing the elephant in the room, it must be using the same software that's available for this connectivity. So now that we address this, let's talk about performance and some other things that I've noticed that are maybe a bit different. Okay, uh, I did not play any movies or anything from the, from the SIM card, from the TFT card that this this AI box also supports. You can test it yourself. I only assume that it will be standard using VLC, open source, a very well-known Android app player that I use on my phone already. It's installed somewhere there on my phone that I'm recording this on, but it also is pre-installed here. I presume that the performance is going to be acceptable. You tell me if you have different experience. I have no reasons to believe that it would not be acceptable. What I find slightly different from other AI boxes, even with a similar Android UI, I found performance of this box slightly more on a slow side. I don't know, I'm not running here some kind of stopwatch to measure exactly the milliseconds of the response. I'm only simply talking from the perspective of a user. Is it a showstopper? Absolutely not. Otherwise, I would be very, very clear and not waste four minutes of your time watching this so far. But uh, at the same time, it still is, is worth, uh, it's worth mentioning that I find that processor, the all-winner processor that they're talking about over here, the all-winner processor, whatever this is, check out the specifications if you're really interested in that, I'm not. It clearly is not performing as well as some of the higher ranking Qualcomm processors. It is just worth mentioning to you simply so that you are not disappointed because where is the power of this? Otherwise, it's a powerful AI box. You can watch Netflix, you can connect YouTube as I'm uh, demonstrating it to you. But even there where I'm connecting YouTube, when I'm entering the search criteria, when I'm where I'm finding my channel, where all of that connectivity is happening, it's all happening in the real time as I'm overlaying this fragment of, of the video. Yeah, for you. So you can see what I see, what my eyes see when I'm testing this. And I think it is pretty clear, I'm not directly comparing products here, but if you are going to do yourself a service and take a look on my channel, you will see that a similarly uh, positioned software, similar operating system, similar apps are performing 
marginally faster, I'd say 10 to 15% faster on other AI boxes that we've reviewed in not so, not so long time ago, in very recent past. What else have I noticed about this Beniza AI box? I have noticed that uh, once you have entered the mode of Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, so once you are out of that bespoke UI, bespoke interface that the box is offering you, once you have clicked on the right app and once you are inside of the Android Auto experience, there is no way to get out of it. So some AI boxes, they also allow you a general gesture of sorts that invokes kind of a control, usually like that little little button that gets overlaid over the top of Android Auto that you press and you go home. Here, maybe I'm doing something wrong, so I'm not going to instantly blame the product because it may not be product's fault at all, but I did not see it. I'm even trying it on the screen right now for you. I'm recording it in real time and showing it to you so that you see what I see. But at the same time, I kind of, once you are inside of Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, I kind of get stuck there. I can't get out. I can't get back out to, say, watching Netflix or, say, watching YouTube. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But other AI boxes, I think, have offered me definitely that overlay control that allows me to go home, so to speak. Here, I didn't find it. Is it a massive showstopper? Again, no, for the right price. So if you are booting up this device in order to watch something, then you probably would just boot up the device, start the car, it comes up on the screen, and that's what you do. You watch Netflix, you do whatever you do while you're camping, whatever you do, right? But if you want to seamlessly kind of switch between the modes of first you are in Google Maps and then you're watching Netflix, I did not find a nice way of doing it other than the dumb and easy way of unplugging the device, replugging the device, it boots up again, yes, it's a delay of about 30 to 40 seconds, and then you're back in the original interface menu, and that's where you can do all the operations from there. These are the things that stood out to me. Slight sluggishness in performance, but once again, not a showstopper as long as you are not in a hurry, and as long as you know and are warming your heart by saying, I didn't pay an arm and a leg for it. That is what would sell this 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 to you as opposed to some other brands, some other competitive brands. You pay, well, you get what you pay for, right? It's a solid, nice enough, nicely built product, but please make no mistake, I haven't had it for months. So this is a first impressions video in a very, very hot car. That's why there is some, if there is any lag on the screen, it is from my phone. It is not from the device or anything for that matter. It's really hot. I've only received this product, this is first impressions, but at the same time as pointy, as practical impressions and review for you as I can offer to you uh, after this very, very short period that I spent with this little AI box. Is it worth your money? You tell me in the comments down below. If you are using some other AI box or you have noticed something on the screen as I've overlaid to you and demonstrated how it works, if you've noticed something that I have not, you're always welcome to talk to me in the comments down below. Just be respectful to the brand, to me and to the fellow viewers who may like this and you may not or the other way around. And that's how this community works. I very much welcome your honest feedback. I'm sure the, the, the brand that is very much open with us as well, supplying these products and being our friend, would love to hear your feedback as well. So don't forget that all my subscribers are potentially entitled to be put into a role of random picked viewers, random picked subscribers that would receive a gift from me for Christmas similar to this. I'm not promising this specific device, but all these devices, they either pay for my coffee because I need to sponsor this show somehow, and that's how I'm done. I don't get paid for these reviews, but occasionally I monetize these things, or the ones that I decide to offer to my community to give back, so to speak, they're being added to that pool of this random raffle, so to speak. So we do this little random raffle once a year. We had a very successful one last year. So if this is an incentive for you to watch more videos from me and subscribe to the channel, please do it, but don't feel like you're obliged to. Thanks again for tuning in. I think you um, would have benefited just, if not for any other reason, than just to see what else is on the market of AI boxes right now, kind of going towards the tail end of 2024. I think it's a valid product, but you have to check out the link in the description of the video to see if the discount code and the link offer you something that you think, wow, this is an offer and a price that I simply cannot pass on. Thanks again. Subscribe for more. Like the video before you drop out. And I'll talk to you next time.